I'm gonna do Love and Hip Hop, um, New York, season six, episode eight. Um, it really wasn't a good episode to me, but since y'all want to know my opinions on these reality shows, here we go. Um, Young B, it starts off with Young B and Mo, you know, talking because that's all they was doing. Um, at the studio where Young B threw juice on her and. Then she left. I'm like, well, she was escorted out. But I was like, girl, you did all that for nothing. Then, um, <sighs> Yanny bothers me. I, I, I just don't care. Yanny bothers me because she, instead of her going off on both of them, because, I'm sorry, Young B was talking to Yandy. I understand she asked Yandy about Mo, but she was talking to Yandy, and homegirl start popping off talking about don't get embarrassed again. So, Yandy should have went off on both of them on their behavior. Not just talk about, oh, I can't believe, oh, she came in here like that. Like, for real, Yandy? But we'll get back to that. Um, and then... <laughs> Mo gonna say, I'm just gonna, I, uh, I'm gonna stop and respect Yandy, and I'm gonna sit here and look cute. I said, bitch, where? I'm just saying, you know, I, y'all know, I don't go in on people looks or whatever, but that bitch ain't cute to me. Um, and then had the nerve to call Young B a hood booger bitch. Somebody else look like a hood booger, but it ain't Young B. I'm just saying. Then going, so Cardi B was like, well, I heard y'all like to jump bitches and shit. So, uh, she was like, and she said something and Mo was like, I'm gonna just go back to working and then, like, when she catch her or whatever, then she gonna fuck up Young B. I'm like, girl, boo. Even Cardi B was like, girl, shut up. You did all that talking and wasn't doing a motherfucking thing. So, shut up. So, that was the end of them. Rich and Mariah Lynn, she goes to, uh, Rich because she was like, I've heard bad news, and I tried to call Cisco, but he's not answering. So, the second best thing is to call Rich, because her and Rich's friends, Rich knows about her family life and stuff like that. So, she went to Rich to talk. That's what I really think Mariah Lynn went to Rich, to, you know, to vent. She needed somebody to vent to, and I guess they can't go to nobody else out to cast, so... Hey, she know Rich. Let's go vent to Rich. Um, so she goes to him and lets her him know that the mama is in her third trimester now. And she has got arrested again. And this time it's worse. She didn't say what it was, but she said this time it's worse. It's with no bail. I said, this is where you have to cut your family off, Mariah Man. I'm sorry. People don't like to hear when people say, oh, cut your mama off, cut your daddy off. And I'm like, fuck that. If they're not doing you no good service to your life, cut them off. I'm all for cutting off family. I I'm, I'm, if anybody know me like that, I'm all about family. But at the same token, I'm about cutting y'all off that ain't doing me no good in my life. Or so I feel like she needs to cut some people off. Um, Rich let us know how he met her mama. He met her mama in Central Booking when he was going through his child support stuff. And uh, she was banging on the window talking about you banging my daughter. And he was like, who the hell is your daughter? And she was like, Mariah Lynn. And I said, Rich, that wasn't that long ago. I'm just saying um, so, anyway, they start talking about, you know, he was giving her advice, and then he started telling her, like, you know, she needs to get a lawyer, and, you know, he was acting like he was gonna really help her or whatever. Then they start talking about, you know, he was telling her to put her emotions in her album and stuff like that, so, then she was asking him to help her or whatever, and he basically said no. He basically was like, he doesn't want to fuck his artist anymore <laughs> but you know you know, like smashing then he tried to get her drunk i don't know if they smashed that night i don't really care but i just felt like rich was a bitch in this episode he went back to being bitch ass rich to me um peter has to go tell amina that tara's pregnant and he beats all around the bush she in that damn studio singing on the piano and this time she's singing a song called not going to give up on us i said this is why people talk about you 
And then I heard this week that she's three months pregnant. I'm like, this is the most dumbest girls. Because they not women. These are the most dumbest girls in America, in the world. Like, <sighs> y'all bitches is just so, y'all so busy trying to compete. On who gonna have this motherfucker baby? Who's gonna fuck him? Who's gonna be able to say they one up somebody else? And for him, I'm just saying, I'm I don't understand bitches not knowing they worth when it's in their face. It's not like he's still doing this shit secretive. This is in your face, and you gonna get pregnant by him. I've heard some other stuff that happened at the reunion show. I'm not gonna speak on it until I see the reunion show because some shit they don't even be showing that we supposed to know about. Um, anyway, so, he tells her about, uh, Tara being pregnant, and she, like, tell me you're lying, tell me you're joking, I mean, at first I was like, is she trying to push out tears, but then all of a sudden her makeup was running, so I guess she forced them out, I don't know, because I don't care about them anymore, especially when y'all keep crying over a dude that keep doing the same thing in the last three seasons. I'm just saying, season four, he fucked both of y'all. Season five, he fucked both of y'all. Season six, he fucked both of y'all. So, I'm over it. Um, so she was like, she called him evil. She was like, you know, I killed my baby. If you want another baby with her, go be with her. I'm like, girl, you is talking to the wall. But anyway... And I did <laughs> agree with her when she was like, Amina, um, when Amina said, Tara's always using kids to be with Peter. I'm like, well, bitch, I'm just saying, what's your excuse? Because you just being with him just because you stupid. And I understand she got a kid with him, but I'm like, no, you being with him because you stupid. Um, Mariah Lynn and Cisco. I'm like, where's all the daddies in these situations? I don't know. But Mariah Lynn and Cisco. He goes to her house. She lets him know about Rich. She was like, you know, I want to be honest with you. You wasn't answering your phone. I, mm -mm, I have a problem with my man not picking up his phone or texting me and say, hey, babe, I'm busy. You know, what's up? You know, something. But I'm sorry. You can't call yourself my man and not answer me. I don't give a fuck, especially if it's days have went past or hours have went past. I'm sorry because there should be no way that it went from her being at Rich's house and he still hadn't reached out to her from the time he came to her house. I'm like, okay. Um, but he was like, oh, I was busy. Then he gonna say I was busy in Atlanta with my kids. We know how you do when you go to Atlanta. I'm just saying. Um, Tasha just probably ain't going to come on this motherfucker again and embarrass herself. But anyway, so she told him about Rich and he was like, oh, oh, okay. So you was with Rich. Oh, so now you got options. And his whole mindset changed from even hearing what she was saying to him to... His hatred and what he think went on because of who Rich is. Fuck who your girl is and fuck you trusting your girl. Since you just know Rich a hoe. Oh, you just know your, your girl just when it spread wide open for Rich. I just felt like some kind of... I just feel like him and Rich are bitches. But I'll keep on going. Whatever. Um. So, anyway. He was like, I'm not going to do the back and forth thing. She was like, okay, I understand that. That ain't how she was saying it. She was just like, I needed somebody to talk to. He was there for me, basically like that. And I get where he said the not going back and forth. But I'm like, she ain't went back and forth between y'all that you guys been together. You know what I'm saying? But I do say, okay, you know these dudes don't get along. Stop going in between them until they can work their shit out because both of them always gonna have that in their mind that you fucking both of them because of the creeps that they they are so then he was like oh, okay that's cool but um he gonna say they need to go get tested if they can since they're gonna take it to the next level i'm like didn't you fuck or almost i, I don't give a fuck they fucked that first time but now you want to go get tested because she was with Rich. Nigga, you knew she was dealing with Rich before when you tried to talk to her on that balcony. 
now you want to go get tested? And then he tried to make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, oh, I know Rich, and if you fucked him or whatever. She was like, well, we both dated people that don't look clean. And then she called Mo a hoe and all that kind of stuff, and I'm like, whatever. Um, They both want to get tested, whatever. I'm like... All y'all should be tested, like, at casting call, in between seasons. I'm just saying. Cardi B and her sister, Hennessy. Please tell me that's her nickname. Please, because that girl was too pretty for her name to be fucking Hennessy. Mm. I wouldn't even want the world to know my name is Hennessy. I don't give a fuck if I was a stripper. I wouldn't name myself Hennessy. Like, I don't... <laughs> I just didn't get where y'all gonna really say this girl name is Hennessy. Baby girl need to pick a new nickname. That's all I'm saying. Um, you didn't say something. Oh. Um. So anyway, uh, Cardi B, you know she played her music first, sister, and I was like, well, hell, even that little bit of snippet. I was like, she sounded better than them other girls that keep on rapping on this motherfucker. I don't know. So, um, then she started talking about her boyfriend, Tommy. And I like you, Cardi, but I'm about to go in. She started talking about her boyfriend, Tommy, and how he got marriage papers and how he want to get married. And she down with getting married to him because that's gangster to get married in jail. I'm like, who is raising these girls? I, let me tell y'all something. Y'all know me. I grew up in the hood. I grew up in Compton. But fuck no way have I ever, ever, ever thought about getting married or dating people that's in jail. No. And she's only been dating this dude for, was dating him two months prior. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. Cardi, please be more smart than this. I like how her sister was like, no, you need to wait because what if he get out of jail and he cheats on you and all this kind of stuff now that you out here building your brand and building your money, you know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga got street money. You have legal money. Why? So, every if you guys get divorced... Because she was like, divorce ain't nothing and, you know, marriage ain't nothing but paperwork. I'm like, well, why you doing it? Why you doing it? Just to say you married? That's stupid. But she was like, Mary, um, it only cost $500 for a divorce. I'm like, please don't think that. If you fuck him, after you guys get married, and you guys, he might date you long enough to get your shit? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Because you, he can prove your money. You can't prove his street money. Please be smart about this, Cardi B. Like, I like her. And I, I do think she's a little rough around the edges. You know, she, you know, unfiltered and stuff like that. But I just want this girl to be so smart about this because she came on this show. Even though she was kind of blowing up before, um, she kind of really blew up on this show. And, mm-mm, mm-mm. Please, like your sister said, do the prenup. Please do the prenup because it... it it's not going to be cute. It's not going to be cute. And I just feel bad for if this girl get taken advantage of by a street nigga. Like, come on. Uh-uh. Anyway. So, Yandy and your, um, Cardi. Yandy and Young B meet up. And she was talking about, how can you be in the studio with Mo and all the time stuff? She was like, you don't want to sit down? She was like, no, I don't want to sit down, but I sit down. I said, why y'all play that part? Like, she was going to go in there on some rah, rah, hard shit and then the punk sat down. I'm just saying. But she she was she was mad, rightfully so, about, you know, um, homegirls thinking her, the track, um, being on her track or whatever. And, you know, the way Yandy handled that whole situation, she was like, you knew I was going to come in here on some rah-rah shit if I saw this girl after she and did what she did to me. Like, you knew this. Like, I, like I said, Yandy handled this situation wrong, but Yandy don't see her wrong in this situation, so it bothers me. Um, you know, homegirl called her sneaky, and Yandy got mad to me. I'm not sneaky. I'm a grown-ass woman. I said, well, act like one. Act like one of you a grown-ass woman. Um, 
they start, she gonna tell her, you either give it the program or, you know, like basically you can bounce. And I'm sitting there like, but you did not tell this to the other girl. Like, come on. Young B can't pop off by her goddamn self. I'm just saying. Um, so then she was talking about, you know, it's always going to be a mo, which is true. It's always going to be somebody that's going to try to test you. But I wouldn't want to work with a manager that's working with two enemies because you know the, the fire that is to the ignite. Like, I don't understand this situation. But yeah, it's about her money. Fuck these bitches. As long as y'all can make her money, she cares two fucks about y'all. And I don't want to have a manager that don't care about my best interests. Like, bitch, I can wind up in jail because I'm around this girl because you brought this girl around her. That's not in my best interest. So Yandy told her strike one was um, the cypher. Strike two was the studio. There's no more strikes. Young B, good luck. That's all I can say to you because... If you want to be delusional and work with her, and I'm sorry, everybody keep on saying Yandy got this and Yandy got that. I'm like, Yandy ain't, what has she done since Jim Jones? Please, like, I'm not trying to discredit her. But what I am saying is, tr stop trying to make her seem like she popping right, right now. Jim Jones was a long time ago. So, come on, and she got fired by him because she wasn't being... A manager. She was being unprofessional. So, come on now. Y'all remember she got fired. It ain't like... I mean, well, she resigned, but she still got fired. He still didn't want to fuck with her. Like, they whole thing was bad for business. She went after um, talking shit about his girl. That wasn't fucking uh, professional whatsoever. But okay, she had to get on the show. I just don't understand how people defend Yandy. But okay. Um, anyway, then she gonna tell Yandy, I mean, Young B, do what you gotta do and then drop the mic. I said, you told the other girl the same thing. Shut mm. Okay. DJ Self is on stage performing I Got the Juice. I was like, okay. Um, then they, um, Rich Self, they go outside to talk and then they see Ross. So they call Ross, uh, letting them know. Um, he was letting them, Self was letting them know about the cipher and what he expected decipher and all the kind of stuff they need to practice and all that kind of stuff then um he rob was saying how she's managing lexi and mariah lynn and he like since when so they both looking at her like bitch like since when so she let them know that lexi went solo and that she's working with mariah lynn mariah lynn is how she can spit all this kind of stuff so they kind of basically get on mariah lynn and um you know, Seth was, like, shocked that she got her a new manager. He didn't know nothing about it and all that kind of stuff. But he was like, I can't concern myself with that or whatever. So, um, that's when he was saying he was going to try to make stars. and But he don't want no drama. So, Rob mentioned Mariah Lynn and Cisco. She was like, I know she's going through her family issues and all that kind of stuff. And she's dating Cisco. Rich looked like dating who? Cisco. So... She, he was like, she was just at my place two days ago. And they like, oh, hell no. Like, oh, fuck. Like, Rich, who haven't? That, she was like, Rich, who haven't smashed you? You a thought. Like, what the fuck? Like, she just was so taken aback that, once again, Rich and smashed another person on Love and Hip Hop. And I'm like, why are y'all shocked? When you got thirsty girls out here trying to get on, why are y'all shocked that Rich smashed? Anyway, Amina goes down and sit and talks to Whitney, uh, Rich's daughter, and basically tell her about Tara being pregnant. And the daughter was so over her daddy. She was so over her fucking daddy. Like, girl, you, you, you don't need to keep going through this. This got to stop. But you need to talk to him and have a final conversation with him and let him know, like, you don't want to be with him no more or whatever you're going to do. So that was that. Um, Cardi B at her manager office named Chef. He's letting her know that he put he got something to work for her and she's gonna have these new power chargers. I'm like, I hope it's for my phone and not just for iPhones, I'm just saying. Cause I need a good charger. I'm I'm just saying, Cardi, let me know. Is it just for iPhones? Please don't let it be just for iPhones and in, in, indoor work because I'm just saying these chargers they be working for like a week or two, pay all this money and then all of a sudden they got a short in them. Mm-mm. So, 
um, she's happy about that or whatever. Then her man calls from jail and she stops everything. You don't stop a business meeting to talk to your man in jail. Then the conversation they were having and he was telling her she was doing too much and basically he wants her to be a housewife. She was like, bullshit, I am not housewife material. I am not going to be running around three damn kids mm -mm, and cooking and shit. Like, nope, that ain't me. And she was basically trying to tell him that, but he wasn't listening to her. And she was like, you're not supporting my dreams. I'm like, no, he's not. He's not. <laughs> and baby girl, please wake up. I just want Cardi B to wake up from this dude because I just don't see him being for her. Especially after, after the conversation I heard from them. I just don't see them. Mm -mm. Especially when y'all only dated two months prior for him being in jail. Then all of a sudden he want to marry you. Then uh, mm -mm. girl, keep your eyes open. So here come the bitch says right now. Rich Takes Mariah Lynn out for drinks. Apparently, you know, he had been texting her. She's been texting him back. But it was basically, you know, being... She's thinking it's being out of concern for her with her family drama and all that kind of stuff. So she was going to go and tell him about Cisco and let her him know who she wanted to be with. But before she can get into that, he starts flirting, talking about her dress. And she was like, no, like, you took me out. Like, I was going to get dressed up. Like, what the hell? So then he started talking about bringing up six minutes, and she like, really? <laughs> like, okay, like, you want to just throw this? It's like he was throwing shit up in the camera to make her look bad because he butt her about her fucking with Cisco. Then he did the, <laughs> mm, he did the bitch thing to me. Um, Rich invited Cisco. Instead of him talking to her and seeing what was going on, he invited Cisco for them to try to kind of bust her out to say, like, you fucking with both of us. And she was like, no. Then he started bringing up text messages that they were texting and how she was on her cycle. And she was like, no, it wasn't even like that. You know what I'm saying? You offer me six minutes. <laughs> And that's probably what she said. Like, boy, I'm on my period. I ain't got time for that. But what she shouldn't even say that. She shouldn't even entertain the conversation. But I just felt like Rich was being a bitch about this whole situation. Like, that's not how you... Mm, these new age dudes. I just don't understand of you trying to confront the girl with the other dude that you don't like. Like, it wasn't going to go good. It, er, nobody was going to get answers in this situation, especially when Rich and Cisco both creeps. They both thinking the worst of each other with this girl. This conversation wasn't going to go right. Then R Cisco comes up talking about, because she was like, you know, my man, like, why did I have to tell you I was dating Cisco? Especially when, nigga, when you didn't even want to fuck with me when I tried to get you to produce. And that's the thing. He got mad because when Ross said that she was working with Mariah Lynn, all of a sudden he was like, but she just came to me to produce. But you told her no. So why should, can't she work with old girl? Even though she was working with old girl before you. And then I'm like, manager and producing the track, it's two different fucking things. So stop being butthurt. Um... But Cisco gonna say they was talking about um talking to on the side. And Cisco gonna say, Well, I only talked to her to get back at you, Rich. I'm like, really? Y'all some bitch ass niggas. You were just telling this girl how you wanted to get uh how you wanted to get tested and all this kind of stuff and he a creep. He fucking a creep. She pops off on Rich. She kind of pops off on both of them because they 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 played her. They both played her whatever. Um, And I know a lot of people going to be like, well, if that was a dude with two girls, you wouldn't be saying that about her um, confronting both of them and bringing them both together, all that kind of stuff. I feel, still feel like all of this was petty. It could have been handled a lot different. Rich, like, you in your feelings because you, like, why? I don't get it. Cisco, you play with this girl to get back at him. And then he gonna say, oh, um, I'm just gonna make her think that so, so she can know how I feel right now. Bitch move. Little boy move. Phone ass men don't act like this. I don't, mm. 
but okay y'all want to keep saying that and so she goes outside she's crying to the producer talking about she wants to leave and she don't give a fuck about him and she don't give a fuck about him yeah you do well no she probably don't give a fuck about them but she probably just pissed off so i don't know y'all tell me what y'all thought about loving hip-hop it wasn't that damn good but all right um i don't know <laughs> i don't know i ain't got a text message and kind of threw me out but yeah I, 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 this show's stupid. All these reality shows start to get stupid to me. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, I've been in the bed all day because I've been sick, but, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.